YouTube, what's up? Twin with the Clippers, back with another video. And as y'all can see, I got a new video camera. I'm gonna let y'all check this out for a minute. Look at the scenes. So of course y'all can see I'm doing a low fade, getting it together, going knocking it down with my designers, my one on my designers, making everything smooth, keeping it clean and nice and neat, you know, taking it down with my one. I'm going over the whole head with this. And y'all gotta bear with me right now because it's my first time ever using this camera. Like. I just opened it up, got out the box, and I'm just going, trying to do it, trying to play with it today. I haven't even learned everything out yet of this camera or about it, but, you know, I'm going ahead and knock it out. And my client, every time I do a video, she always asks, I must not be good enough for a video. You never record me. So I said, you know what, it's the perfect time to do it. I can try this camera, and I can shoot you a video. But... I'm be getting back into the video. We just still taking it down. I got my phone in my hand, as you can see, because I, I had to see the angle of it. Cause at first, it's, the camera is on my forehead, my forehead, so I really can't see. I don't know what I'm aiming at. I thought I was aiming at her head, but at first I was aiming all around us, everywhere. So I got the camera, so I can look at it on my phone, and I can see exactly where the camera is aiming at. So I'm still taking it down with my one guard on my wall designers. I faded it all around with my wall against the grain with my wall designers with no guard. Now I'm evening it all out. Man, this camera came out. I mean, this video came out pretty cool. I, I must say, I really like this camera. It's, it's decent. Once I get the hang of it and once I keep playing with it, I be I had all my videos laid out mastered. But you know, practice makes perfect. First time for everything. I'm still knocking the hair down. I'm giving y'all that this that up and up close and personal game right here. Like I net my camera never been as close to nobody's head like this. Now I'm I'm setting it up on my station so I can look at it now and I can really play with it and get in the mood how I want to. A little up close. I never got up close this up close. It's like Y'all are like me now. Now y'all can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm knocking it down. You see where I got the line at and everything. It's like her fade up kind of high. So instead of staying low with it, I went up kind of high with it. Cause I'm going to fade all this out anyway. I'm going to fade it out so smooth. Going knocking it down. Making everything even still. Even, even, even. Even Steven. Let, let y'all see that the whole head, see everything. And this is the first video I ever did like this, so I'm gonna have more video, all my videos for now. I'm gonna be coming out that up close and personal, so y'all really can see up close and see what I'm doing. I'm getting my guard and I'm taking it down. Now it's like when I did my fade, and I had to put my camera up because I need two hands when I do my fade. That's exactly what I'm doing right now. I got my Two hands fading. It's always flicking it out, flicking it out. You know me. Doing the same method as always. Flick out, flick out, flick out. But I'm going to hop back into that one-on-one -on -one section with y'all too. When y'all, After y'all check this out. After I get done with my fading, as I should say. But I'm still I'm down fading and not going with the grain on it. Man, I like this view like this the whole video camera it came out way different I like, look the quality is even better than for my last video and the last camera I used was a Sony and this is way cheaper than the Sony and it just came out way better and it's, and it's small and easier for me to hold my hand so I can 
get give y'all that one on one game that I've been trying to give y'all in the first place, but you know I had to learn. I'm new at this YouTube stuff. This is like my first year going hard at it. So you know, I ain't mastered it yet, but I'm, I'm doing all right for just for a beginner. You know, I ain't even six months in yet. This whole year, I'm probably like three, four months in of going hard with it. Probably three months, I think. But you know, it go by so fast, so I'll be a pro in a minute. Yeah, anyway, we still going. I'm going against the grain. I don't think I, do I have a guard on there? I think I do. Oh, my one guard I got on there. I'm flicking it out. Getting that little line, getting that excess line out. Now I'm going down, down fading it. Making sure I get everything out, making everything clear, knocking it out. That's how I see all around. Now I'm about to get up and personal. That up personal game right here. See, like her lining, you got to make a lining. It's crazy. Like if some people got natural hairlines that you where you can already see where the lining is at. But then you got clients that you gotta make a line at. And when you making liners, the thing is you don't wanna go in too far. Cause some people don't know like where to start. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start right in the middle, but I'm not gonna go all the way back. She got like a light spot in her head in the front on her lining. You don't wanna go back because that's going in too far. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stay on the outside as you can see. I'm just gonna line this the outside up. Everything on the outside, I'm gonna line it up. I'm gonna touch, get that crispy. You see that look? I mean, it's okay if they if they got new growth on their hair. Just cut that out. You can go inside that. You um, you have to make a lining. So when you're making the lining, you cutting the new growth. You're not not the new growth, but you're cutting the excess hair that grow, grows wild. Not everybody here grow like this, but it, but it's different. Everybody here grows different. You're going to get some people that you got to actually make a line on their head instead of just following a natural pattern. Now, I'm put, applying my Barber Magic Pencil up close and personal. And there you can see what exactly what I'm doing. And I'm just hitting it with my liners. I'm hitting the side, the front, all of it. Put the Barber Magic Pencil on there first and just hit it with the liners. As you can see, look, and I'm hitting the side of it with the, with the Barber Magic Pencil. I just touched it a little bit, as you saw earlier. Now I'm just lining it up. And this is going to give it that crispy effect. That smoothness effect. You can see how blended the fade is. It's, it's decent already. Now I'm flicking it out. Like, I'm, I'm not even done with this side. I ain't even started on the other side yet. I'm still on this side. I'm still playing on with this side. You know, don't rush your work. You want to get one side crispy first. I'm, I'm going to show y'all. Look, check this out. Look how smooth that is. Look how blended that is. I'm not even done with the other side yet. I haven't even touched the other side. And that side came out tremendous. Look at that. It's perfect. Wonderful. And as you can see, I'm not even done with the other side, y'all. I'm just about to, now, about to hit the other side. I got my wall designers. Open them all the way up. And I'm about to do the same thing as I did to the other side to this side. Start with one side first, then do the other side. Just flicking it out. Flick, flick, flick. It's always, you know, clean up that line right there. Had to go ahead and flick it out. And now I'm starting with the other side. I do the same thing. I just touch it a little bit. Not going in too much. Just a tad bit. Just touch it. Then y'all see this. With my, got my Andy's TL liners. I'm letting y'all see that full quality. That A1 game. Up close and personal. My first one. Now I'm hitting it with the Barber Magic Pencil again. Then hit it with the liners after that. Just getting, giving it that crispy effect. Clean. Look how crispy that is. You ain't got to go in too much. Like I said, I created her lining. It's not like a natural line. I had to create it. 
So when you creating the lining, it's not really a, a pushback or going in too far. You're just making the line fit to where it is, where it needs to be. And that's exactly what I'm doing on her head. Like I, I'm not going in it too far because you, you saw where it was light at. So I'm not going to go in too far. I hit it with my enhancers just to get it crispier and make everything blend in together. And I'm touching it all around. Look at that. Look how the fade came out. Fade came out decent. Now, if you see this, if you notice this little dark spot on the side of the head, it's like it's cut because I cut it different ways. So her hair is cut, it's just grow a different way and they make it look like it's a dark spot in there, but it's really cut. Everything is cut and layered. I made sure everything was cut. So some people have like dents in their heads. And like if you can you can cut it and it actually is cut, but it doesn't look like it because the way it is dented in. So I'm just letting, letting y'all know that. Letting y'all check that out. Like I'm saying, just everything. This this is that that full effect I'm giving y'all. I never gave y'all this before. This is my first time doing this, like I said. So y'all gotta bear with me with this, with this video. This video it is moving faster because it's it's a whole new camera. It's not giving me time at all when I'm editing this whole video. You see the dark spot I was telling about. You can see it, but everything is blended. Trust me. Everything is neat. I'm just smoothing it in, keeping it clean. Flicking it out, flicking it out. See, you see how I'm touching it? I'm showing y'all right now. I'm, I'm cutting it and it's still there. You see it? That mark, that mark is still there. It's a dent. So, yes, I did. It is cut. It's just people, some people have dents in the back, in the front, in the side. I mean, it's, no one has a perfect head or a perfect, gonna have a perfect haircut. There's no such thing as a perfect haircut. But you can still make it good because the lining makes 75% of a haircut. So, if I give you a good lining, overall, it's going to pop and it's going to look good. Because that lining is everything. And what I'm doing now, I have no guard on here. I'm just trimming it down. I'm just gliding over his, over her waves, knocking it down. Just tadly, just a tad bit touch. Just smoothing them hairs that's sticking up. That's all I'm doing. I could have took the shears and did it an easier way. I mean, a faster way actually. But I like to use my clippers and do it. Cause like I'm I'm more focused when I'm using my clippers. As far as my shears and just cutting up all around, I'm just going crazy with it. I just take these and just glide over them. And then you see how it look. Nice and neat. Crispy. Nice and clean for y'all. I got to give me a new uh, light too. My light angle going crazy. Now this is a good angle right here you can see. And you see how crispy that is. I'm tussing it up. Still keeping it crispy and clean. And just look at that fade. Fade came out decent. Now that this is a bad angle. Because <laughs> it's a dark spot in the camera. I mean with the lighting. But if I turn the other way you will see everything. Like this uh that's that lighting is perfect on that side. <laughs> Subscribe, y'all.